guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i really wanted to show you guys my whole entire handbag collection i have all my handbags laid out which ones i'm gonna start with and which ones i'm gonna you know leave the best for last of course i do have a lot of handbags that i have collected over the years some i've gotten as gifts uh birthday gifts the ones that i have recently got i bought them actually second hand uh if you guys have not seen my previous video you buy stuff second hand because it just you know you gotta make cheap look expensive so i'm gonna get into the video i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe if you are new let's get into it so starting with my first one of course anyone who has seen me out in public uh you guys know i carry my kate spade bag anywhere i go it is usually my go-to bag i actually got it from a sugar daddy um yes so very beautiful i love kate spade uh i do have her sunglasses i do want to buy more of her bags but um they're not relatively cheap, um, so I think I'm gonna buy them secondhand that are in pristine condition, but it's so beautiful. The second one I have is literally Lancaster. Uh, I got it from my local store, Smith & Coey's. This was pretty pricey, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've kept it for, I'm pretty sure, almost two years uh it's still relatively in good condition um you do have to like take good care of it um yeah but it's so cute and it matches literally any like outfit that you wear which is either white or black uh it's very cute and my next one is literally i <laughs> i did not buy this one I actually got it as a gift. Um, I was out with a friend of mine in a store and I was like, I love it. I really love it. And um, he actually got it for me like the day later when I had a hangover um, and he surprised me and I was like, wow. So yeah, it's gorgeous. I gotta buy more red to match with it, but it's so beautiful. Now, of course, anyone who knows me a lot, you guys know I do buy secondhand bags, but I also have an obsession with spending on Amazon. And uh, I try and buy a lot of beautiful, sparkly, like, night out bags on there because I swear they look more expensive and more bougie. Um, a lot of people have the classic money bag i will put a photo up on the screen but they have that i know my favorite youtuber amber shawl she has that bag and when i saw her i was like i gotta get it i don't have it just saying but um so this bag i got from amazon um it's so beautiful i think they had a red one i got the purple one well it's kind of pinkish but purplish it looks purple in real life, but on the video, it looks pink. Um, I thought it looks really beautiful. I would have imagined it to be a lot smaller, but um, it's not. I haven't really taken this out anywhere with me yet because I need a matching outfit with it. So um, still on the hunt, but it's so beautiful with this bag um i did not get it on amazon unfortunately i actually got it second hand at a um thrift store i thought it looked so beautiful i like the little cheetah prints on the front gold looks so beautiful and it suits anything so i love it now with this one as well i did get it second hand as well uh when i went up north but when i bought it it came in like this beautiful gold patterned box and it had like some chinese writing on it but um i just thought it looked so stunning and like it's so shiny and reflective like and it's like all yellow on the inside which is so beautiful 
Now, anyone who follows me on Instagram, you guys know I have a photo of this classic bag on my Instagram. I took it with my iPhone because I was like, it looks so bougie and beautiful. I know it's not your classic square bag that you normally take out, but I mean, you know, sometimes you got to be bold and different from other people. So I took a photo and I was like, it's so aesthetic. It has pearls and then little gems in between the pearls. Now, this is another handbag that I bought off Amazon as well. I love it. Um, I love anything like, what is it, stitched patterns. I'm not really good at describing, but um, as you guys can see, like, the beautiful, like, diamond stitches and, like, patterns. It's so beautiful, and I think the gold really goes along with it. It is so beautiful for any outing or outfit. I have um worn it out um at a like a cute little cafe and the amount of people that look at you with it but in a good way and i think it's like unique and different but you know still classy and beautiful now on to the last four handbags as I have said, I'm going to save the best for last. Now, all these bags, I've gotten them second hand. Um, but, you know, you got to save your money until you buy the real deal and everything. But on that note, um, I will show you guys my beautiful, luxurious handbags. So first up, we have my Dior bag. Um, I did get it second hand. Um, a lot of people would say not to get second hand designer bags. I beg to differ because who can afford $4,000 of a handbag? I mean, you're better off putting that towards your savings. I thought it was really cute. I took a photo of it for my Instagram, which people will see in the near future, but I think it looks so gorgeous. <sighs> So beautiful. Now this is my most favorite handbag of all time. I got it second hand. Um, it's actually in pristine condition and like all the stitchings are really beautiful. It's a Gucci bag. Um, it's like a little bit of blue. I love the leather because it really matches any like colored boots like beige or brown boots, a cute little like brown jacket or like a green or blue t-shirt. I love it. It's so cute and small. It's like one of those handbags that you would put like a cute little toy dog in it. And lucky last, my Louis Vuitton. Uh, I got this as well second hand. I got it on Black Friday, but um, I thought it was so gorgeous. I did see another one of these, but in a different color and shade, I believe, and they were in better condition. Um, it may look nice on the screen, but in real life, um, the leather's a bit like worn out, but I mean, you know, you get that when you have like pure designer bags. Great gigantic pocket in the front. Uh, I do use this as a overnight bag or like when I travel and everything it fits about anything like it fits all your clothes your shoes even a straightening iron like I've tested it out it looks small but it fits a lot so there you guys have it my handbag collection I will be buying more in the future I think I may need to get another closet for all my handbags if I'm gonna get more in the future but uh, that is all for it today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, subscribe, turn on the bell icon down below. Have a good morning, afternoon, nighttime, whatever you're doing, and I will see you later. Bye!